So Ninja Theory, part of Xbox Game Studios, now has three projects on the go. So a couple of days ago, there was a article that was published with a video called the Dreadnought Diaries, which is basically just a look into the development of the different projects going on at Ninja Theory. And we were met with a lot of interesting information about games that we had no idea that Ninja Theory was working on. And now it looks like they have three projects all in development right now. So to break it down, firstly, they have Bleeding Edge, which is a game everybody has known about been announced for a while now and it is due out in March. It is basically just a multiplayer brawler similar to Overwatch and to Paladins. So if you like those type of games, you probably will want to check this one out. There's lots of videos already out on this with full gameplay matches and more in depth into certain characters within the game. And it does look pretty interesting. We already knew about Senua Sega Hellblade 2, and that is a sequel to Hellblade 1. We first saw this at the Game Awards where they showed off that amazing video of what the Xbox Series X is potentially gonna be able to do graphically. It blew everybody away because all of the footage that they showed was in-game footage. And finally, the third game they have on the go right now is a horror game that we just found out in these first Dreadnought Diaries called Project Mara. And from the mouths of Ninja Theory, here is where Project Mara is. Project Mara will be a real world and grounded representation of mental terror based on real lived experience accounts and in-depth research. Our aim is to recreate the horrors of the mind as accurately and realistically as possible. Project Mara will be an experimental title and a showcase of what could become a new storytelling medium. Now they show it off some footage of the game, some graphical stuff, and it was just looked absolutely amazing. What's interesting about this is they also announced in this video a R&D project called the Insight Project. Basically what the Insight Project is goes along with the theme of everything that Ninja Theory works on and has to do with mental health. And basically it's going to be using these new technologies that Ninja Theory has, working with real psychologists and real mental health professionals and using the medium of gaming to help people overcome their fears. Best way to explain it is from a quote from the article saying, we plan a program of gaming, technological and scientific development that will lead to self-contained, individualized and absorbing game experiences within which people can become an expert at recognizing, responding to and ultimately controlling their own fear, anxiety and other negative subjective experience. Now, if you ask me, this is very, very cool, especially in a world we are living in where we are really seeing more and more the effect that mental health has on individuals and we are really more open in today's world about talking about mental health and getting people help for it. In this video in the Dreadnought Diaries, they show lots of developers wearing VR headsets. So I am really thinking that this is going to be something that is going to come out on some sort of VR device that Microsoft and Xbox is going to have in the future. And if this is something that will help you get over your certain fears or your anxieties or any other mental disorder that you're dealing with, this is just a really, really great thing that Ninja Theory is starting and that they're being transparent about it now. So we know that this is to come in the future. I'm definitely looking forward to see what this really means, the Inside Project and what they can come up with. Because I think it's going to be very interesting when it's finally released or when programs or games for this are actually released. So that's three big games on the go right now in Ninja Theory. And if you haven't considered them a triple A developer yet, you might as well start because in the beginning of the video, they talked about how they've doubled their staff and are also being funded by Xbox Game Studios, which is going to just be funneling money into them to really help them develop these projects that they're working on that look like they're going to be really great. To me, this is just all great stuff to get excited about. Not only are they creating Hellblade 2, which Hellblade 1 was a hit and they're creating a multiplayer brawler, which if you like Overwatch, if you like hero shooters or anything like that, will probably be fun for you to play. They're also creating some new innovations in the gaming industry and all of this in development without the Xbox Series X even being released yet. So there is a lot to look forward to in the world of Xbox for the Xbox Series X and just in gaming in general with development studio like Ninja Theory being able to have the resources to really work on whatever they kind of want or what they're coming up with based off of what we're seeing so far and being part of Xbox Game Studios. Not only does it give hope for the gaming industry, it's giving lots of excitement for the other studios within Xbox Game Studios being able to probably kind of follow their visions and work on the things that they want to work on rather than following the vision of a corporate business person at the top making decisions that probably isn't the best for gamers, probably isn't the best for the developers and not allowing 
the creators within these development studios to see their full vision through. So that is exciting. I'm excited to see more about these projects. I'm also really excited to see what else comes out of the other studios at Xbox in the future because I think it is very bright and I think we're going to see a lot of very interesting stuff. Let me know what you guys think about this in the comments below. I'm really interested in your thoughts on this. If you enjoyed this video, make sure to hit that thumbs up button and subscribe if you're new to this channel and I'll catch you in the next video.